Welcome to the warm up. I'm Mark Hoots. Matt Finkel will be with us in a little bit as we are in Anna today to talk with the Anna Rockets, beginning with the new head coach, Nick Marino. Nick, last couple years you're at your alma mater, Urbana, now making the move to the MAC and taking over the Anna Rockets program. How's the transition gone so far for you? Transition's going pretty well. We've, had, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, we've been seeing pretty good improvement the last couple weeks here, though, going through things with camp and, and going into two days here. Coming off of a 5-5 five and five campaign, disappointing because the, the standards mm -hmm. in Anna have been so high. And former head coach Brian Reox said, we haven't done what we've needed to do the last couple years. That mm -hmm. kind of led to the reason why he stepped down. Our, what's this new Anna Rocket team going to look like? Well, we're trying to change those expectations a little bit and, and do raise those with the kids a little bit. Because the last couple years, they, they have struggled a little bit and been about 500. Um, so the new Anna Rocket team, uh, we're, we're going to play fast, we're going to play physical, um, and, and we're going to we'll make sure we run to the ball and do all the little things defensively and, and on the offensive side of the ball, finish plays and all that kind of stuff. You played at Wittenberg, where the mm -hmm. defensive coordinator at Urbana under Garen Stokes before he became the head coach. So do you bring a defensive mindset then as the head coach here at Anna? Uh, yeah, I, I've always been a defensive type guy, and, and I think just when we talk about what we're going to do as, a, as a, a team, we talk about defense before we talk about offense all the time. So it's always the most important thing. If you can't play good defense, you're not going to be a good football team. What's your coaching staff looking like? Coaching staff's come together pretty well. Um, it's been a transition. It's a new system for them. It's a, a lot faster with the hurry-up type offense and so forth. So there's been a lot of learning. Uh, there's been a little learning curve for there, but the, the staff's coming together well. How well have you gotten to know the personnel, your team at this point? Uh, I think I know them pretty well. I've been, <laughs> that starts out in the weight room. That starts out with all the kind of stuff, seeing how they run, seeing how they move, um, seeing how strong they are, what type of competitors they are. That's a, it's a huge thing to see. So we, we have a pretty good feel for most of our guys, and we still have three or four position battles going on, which is nice to have. Let's, uh, let's talk a little about the personnel on the field. I mean, you, you graduated quite a bit of talented mm -hmm. players last year, so who are you looking to, to be the leaders on the field this year for the Rockets? Uh, we got we – got, Several guys are going to step up. Uh, offense line-wise, you got Nate Stiffel, who's doing a good job um, at being a really good leader up front for us. And he's really started to develop on the defensive ball this last week and a half. Um, and then, then at the quarterback position, right now we're going with Travis Meyer. Um, he's going to be a sophomore, but he, he's a cerebral kid. He's smart, makes good decisions, a, a, has a pretty good arm. Um, he's been doing a nice job for us there. At the receivers, we're going to have um, we got a, we got one guy that's banged up a little bit, but other than that, we have uh, Colin Webker. He's been doing a good job, and he's going to be a good football player for us. Um, defensively, looking at our linebackers, you got Trey Cates, who's looked pretty good. And a couple other guys that surprised me, like a Nate Poppleman, which I didn't think he was – I honestly didn't think he was going to be a varsity player. Now he's in the mix trying to compete for a varsity spot. So you see some guys like that. Um, I think we'll have a decent free safety with Colin Webker playing a little bit both ways. And, and uh, Blake Stevens, the wide receiver and cornerback. So those are some of the names I think you're going to hear this year uh, that really need to step up. Um, and if they have a good year with their leadership first and, and their competitors all the time, we'll have a pretty good season. Had a scrimmage a couple days ago against Tri-County North. How did that go for you guys? It went pretty well. We, we, we moved the ball pretty well. We, we ran the ball decently, uh, which was good to see. And on the defensive side of the ball, we ran to the ball pretty hard, which is the first indicator of a good defense. So we, we're doing that, and those are the little details we wanted to get cleaned up. Um, and, and make this transition to really playing harder. We keep talking to the guys about changing that expectation level. We want to make sure that, that it's done all the time, and, and that's been a kind of the, the biggest growth we have to make still, competing every single day in practice like crazy. So, so that's, if we get to that point, we could be a good football team. Yeah, as we taped this, we're about two weeks into practice. Have you seen some good progression from day one to, to this point? Yes, we've seen a lot of progression from day one to now. Um, the offensive lines come together a lot. We still have a lot of things to clean up and a lot of things to fix, but they've come together a lot. Um, and we've, we've transitioned, we've, we've rotated four or five, six times different starters in defensively. And we kind of get, we're getting to the point where we're going to have to make decisions this next week or so. Looking at the schedule, you open up non-conference at home against Arlington for traveling to Brookville. What are you expecting out of those two non-league games? I mean, those are two good football teams. Um, Brookville's been, been a, a pain in our butt here the last couple of years, not with me being here, but they've been a pain in the butt here the last couple of years. And, and Arlington's a playoff team. So we got another playoff team on the schedule. Our, our schedule's pretty competitive. Then you get into the MAC as you open up at Fort Recovery. The Indians, a little bit of the surprise team of the MAC last year, expected to be strong. We know the top half of the MAC is going to be good as well. Mm -hmm. Do you see Anna being able to position yourself to, to make a run and, and get up there in the top echelon? That's the goal. If we can, if we can develop into that type of team, and that starts in practice. I always tell the guys, I'm way more worried about practice in the game. If we can, if we can become, we got the train here, in Anna. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that here or not. It's here every day. Um, 
But um, yeah, if we can we can compete every day in practice and continue to get better as a group, I think we'll have a chance to compete for some games and, and, and compete with yeah, the big teams in the MAC. What areas do you need to get better in the most between now and opening night? Um, the biggest area is, is practice. It still has to improve. Just the struggle and strain every day in practice is something that, that we have we have a pretty good amount of sophomores playing and so forth that those guys have to learn to do. And, it, and it's, it's a thing that, you know, you, you like to have guys for four or five years when you and know them from junior high and on up. So getting the guys to really struggle and go as hard as they possibly can in practice is the biggest thing we got to work on. Coming from Urbana, certainly you were familiar with the MAC with, mm -hmm. with Coach Stokes making the move from Urbana to Minster. Did you talk to Coach Stokes much before you took the Anna job? Yeah, Did you feel him out about Yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, he, we talked about it. He thought, thought it was a really good job. Um, and it's a great community up here, and those are the big reasons I, I look to take this job. It's a, it's a place where you got a chance to win and compete at a really high level. Certainly great community support in Anna for the football team. It looks like you've got a good numbers out for this year's team as well. Yep, we got good numbers right around, right around 59 kids, so it's a good number. It's, it's not too much, not too little. We've kind of cut the, cut the slack a little bit with some of the guys that were kind of in, kind of out type guys, so it, it's a good number, and we've got guys that are all in right now. So. All right, thank you very much, Nick Marino, head coach for the Anna Rockets. We're going to take a break here on the warm-up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down with some of the Rockets here on WOSN. Welcome back to the warm-up from Anna. I'm joined by a couple of Rocket players right now, a couple of seniors, Nate Stiffle, offensive line, defensive line is to my right, and Carter Hillscamp, strong safety wide receiver on the end. Nate, let's start with you. A couple weeks into practice, new head coach for your senior year. What have you seen out of Coach Marino, and how's camp going? Uh, coach Marino, I think he's going to bring good things to the program. He's an intense. We work hard all the time. We're always... We're always trying to get better. It doesn't matter. We're never taking a lift off, taking a play off. Camp's good. Practice is good. We practice hard. We're, we're just trying to get better, get ready for the season. Carter, an opportunity to get better came earlier in the week at a scrimmage. What did you get out of that scrimmage? Did you like the way the guys came together against another opponent? Uh, yeah, I really liked it. We've gotten a lot better since our 7-on-7s. Seven sevens. Uh, we just get down on when we have small mistakes, and then we just got to get, keep getting better over that. So we're, we're really trying to work on that in practice and stuff and get over that hump. Nate, playing in the MAC, and you know it's going to be tough and competitive and high expectations here at Anna. What have you been doing in practice to prepare for the tough league play? And I'm sure you're focused right now on week one as well. Yeah, yeah, well, you always got to be ready for the MAC. The MAC's always tough. and But here at practice, you know, we work every different front, all types of defenses, just to get ready for the season. It doesn't matter what we're doing. We're always just trying to prepare. Obviously, always starting with week one with Arlington. We, we're we starting with the scrimmages right now. We work the scrimmage team. We work their defense, working against that. But then once the season comes, we're going to be fully focused on Arlington one week at a time. Carter, Grant Glover was a tremendous wide receiver for this program last year. What did you learn from him? And now that he's graduated, you're looking to step into, the, into those shoes. Uh, I've learned a lot from him. Uh, he showed me a lot of great leader skills, le leadership skills and just to get the job done when it needs to get done. How have the seniors led this team so far? I know sometimes it's different when you go from junior to senior and you're asked to be more of a leader. Have you seen this group be a unit and take on those leadership roles? Um, yeah, the seniors have definitely developed a lot into their leadership roles that are automatically given whenever you become a senior. But uh, I think that everyone, everyone always looks to the seniors and our, our class as a group has really embraced that and we're ready to take it on this year. Carter, we'll finish with you. Goals for this season for the Anna Rockets and your senior year? Uh, we've we've always set goals. So uh, one of my goals was this year was to make a playoff game. Haven't made a playoff game in four years, so that's one of my biggest goals and get a winning season. So right, this this group of seniors have not made the playoffs. Anna hasn't made the playoffs since 2010. What would it mean to you to to get to week 11? Oh, it would mean a lot. I mean, I think it. I think it really turned things around, obviously not making the playoffs in a while, get things back on the right track, get people working hard and change expectations and get, get Anna back to where it should be. Well, best of luck to you guys this season. Thanks for letting us come out to practice. We need to take a break here on the warm-up, but when we come back, we'll get a couple more Rockets sitting down to talk about the upcoming season.
Third and final down on the warm-up from Anna as we continue talking Rocket football. A couple more seniors joining me. Eric Heideman on the line, offensive line, defensive line to my right, and Connor Riach, running back, strong safety on the end. Eric, let's start with you. New season, new head coach. What's the what's the vibe here in camp? Well, I mean, Coach Riach had a very uh, – it was very important to him that not only we become a good football team, but also really great men. And Coach Marino brings a very similar thing to the to the plate. So, I mean, it was very similar. But And we're working really hard. We're getting it done out here. Yeah, you could tell that was a fast-paced end to practice that I caught. Yeah, that's how we, we try to do it like that all the time. Connor, for you, your dad's Coach Riach. He's still on the staff. What's the dynamic like for you working with a new head coach, but you still have your dad there as the D coordinator? Yes, um, my dad being the D coordinator and, you know, he's both of my position coaches. He's coaching me more now than he was as a head coach. And, you know, it's different. Eric, what do you guys need to do before the opener at home against Arlington? Uh, we need to, we still need to work on our tempo offensively and also getting lined up correctly, both offensively and defensively. And also just, um, we're running a different kind of um, scheme this year for our offense. So just getting that all figured out is really important to us this year. Connor, what do you think? this team's biggest strength is right now? What are you most happy about? Um, I think we have a good pass game, and we also have a good run game, and we have some pretty good linemen, linebackers on defense. I think we're pretty good all around. And you'll need to be good all around in the MAC. What does it mean to you to play in, in what many consider the best conference in Ohio? Well, it's certainly a challenge, and it, um, like when, if we do go far, it is truly a testament to, I think, how hard we've worked and how good the team actually is and how good the teams we actually play also shows like how hard we work. Yeah, Connor, three state champs for the MAC. You'll play all three this season. Is there a particular game that you're focused on in league play? Yeah, um, I'm really focused on Marion, mostly. And why is that? Um, I'm looking forward to playing them. I think it'll be good competition. You guys played them, all three of the state champs, pretty close last year. Was there a game you're looking forward to in league play? I'm looking forward to the Minster game, mostly, I think, because that's been the closest of our, of our games with them, with those teams the last couple of years, so I'd really like to get them this year. Connor, the senior leadership is always a, a big point for any team, especially in camp when it's, when it's forming. How have you seen the seniors lead the group so far? I think the seniors have done a good job leading, and I think they've done pretty well stepping up and taking leadership towards their position groups and as a team. Yeah, absolutely, that's so important. Eric, on the line, protecting a, a young quarterback this year, what have you seen out of, out of the sophomore, Travis Meyer? Travis, last year, Travis um, got injured during a JV game. He tore his ACL, and he's made a pretty full recovery from that, and he's, he's doing really well. I mean, I think it still bothers him some, but he's doing a really nice job. Well, best of luck to you guys this season. Looking forward to watching the Rockets take the field at home week one against Arlington. That's going to wrap up this edition of the warm-up from Anna. We'd like to thank all of our guests. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.